Physical fitness is becoming a part of our culture. To get here, you're gonna have to do your push-ups, your curl-ups, your 1.5 mile run. So the basic standard for recruits when they come in is they're gonna come in on their P5 day, which is their processing day, and they're gonna be expected to, for males, to at least hit a 16.09 run time, and females an 18.37. If they don't hit that standard, they get one more try within a 48 hour period. And if they don't hit that, then the Navy sends them home. The biggest change in Navy recruit requirements in recent years is just how fit you have to be to start training. If you're not somewhat physically fit when you walk through the door, the statistics show that you may not get through. The biggest thing you can do to prepare to succeed at boot camp is get in shape. The baseline is within their first week here. It's the first thing out of the door that they have to do and they have to accomplish just to go on through training. If you fail, you will be sent to a step program. If they don't meet that actual forming standard, then training's at a halt. It stops completely until they can pass that forming standard. And if they can't, that's when they get sent to separation. If you are preparing to come to boot camp, you definitely want to be doing push-ups, you want to be doing curl-ups, and you want to be running. If you are not physically fit, Boot camp is not the place you want to come to try and get in that shape immediately. If you've never done any physical fitness and you come to boot camp, you will not make it. You will have come here just to see boot camp and you'll end up going back. Push-ups, curl-ups, cardio, if you're going to pass boot camp and become a sailor, you've got to start working on your fitness. A little work now can save you stress later. Come ready, come fit, and show the Navy what you can do.